Hello, Scorpio. <clears throat> this is an X reading. <clears throat> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. All right. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Okay. All right, guys. The kind of relationship that you guys had in the past was one that um, was not sharing. <laughs> I think you guys held a lot back from each other. Okay. Um, even though you guys weren't that open with each other, it wasn't an open and honest relationship. But I think both of you still viewed it as... Um, Something that you wanted. Something that you felt like was stable. We have four here. Under the bottom of the deck. And this four of pentacles. It was very stable. Yes. But you, you guys were very closed off. With each other. Um, maybe did not spend a whole lot of um, time together. Quality time together here. Let's see how you viewed the relationship. Hmm. You felt like a lot of things were hidden. Um, that it was almost um, hmm. lacking emotion. Lacking a deep emotion, I feel. A lot of secrets here. Things unclear. Let's see how your ex viewed the relationship. That it was stuck. It was going nowhere. Hmm. They felt like they sacrificed a lot too and felt like their hands were tied in this situation. Um, and I can definitely see that here with your relationship being the four of pentacles. You know, um, not sharing, not, not really opening up. A lot of things being unclear in this connection. Okay. One of you probably feeling like you know, you were in the relationship, excuse me, by yourself even. Like you were together, but, you know. Let's see what your current situation is. Okay, I'm going to take, there's only one card I'm going to take. I didn't see the other one, so. <clears throat> still shielding yourself. Still holding yourself back from really deciding what um what it is that you want out of this i feel feeling guarded feeling very guarded here like you still don't know the truth so really and truly you cannot make a um an important decision about this relationship or getting back together if you're not sure about you know, several things that are significant to you. Um, if you don't know exactly where you stand or how somebody feels about you, then it's kind of hard to decide what to do. I, I definitely get that. Let's see what the current situation is for your ex here. Hmm. I feel like this person is, is stable, for sure, emotionally. But... I get that they think about you a lot. I feel like you're on their mind. And I just get that they really want to, they really want to move past this situation, but they have a hard time as well. I think both of you guys are having a hard time moving past um, getting over this relationship is still very like present with both of you. You know, even if it's been um, a year ago, I think it's still very, very much here. Okay, let's see what your um, what your ex thinks about you. They think you're very defensive. Um, they think that maybe you have blocked them, that you don't want to communicate with them, that you don't want to talk to them at all, like you want nothing to do with them. Hmm. Let's see how you feel about them. 
I was going to grab, but I felt like, mm -mm. how you feel about them? You feel that, you know, they are still very, a very supportive person, um, but you feel like they have probably moved on, maybe in another relationship. Um, maybe they are a single parent, a mother, a father, and um, they're really, they're, that's where their concentration is. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's see <clears throat> how you guys feel about getting back together. I think you're willing to talk about it. I think you're 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 willing to talk about this. You're willing to discuss issues. I think you really do want to discuss certain things with them. Um, maybe why they blocked you, why they're not talking to you, um, that sort of thing. Because maybe you have not had any communication with this person um, in a long while now. Now, they see you as somebody that's not really making any moves, very controlled over your emotions, but I feel like there is an emotional air to you right now because um, you're not offended, but I feel like you're kind of hurt at the way things are going between you guys here. So I feel like you are open to um, discussing everything i feel because the queen of swords you know they speak the truth they want to get to the truth even okay let's see how your ex feels about getting back together here mm, you're both coming as queens here um but i feel like i feel like this she would be open or he would be open to a discussion I feel like it may get a little heated. They're coming here as fire. So you guys may be dealing with a fire sign. Um, I feel like Aries or Leo if it's fire. But yeah, I definitely feel like they're open to it. I think they're going to come with a whole lot. They're going to come with their uh, bullet points though, I feel. They're going to run it down for you. So this may get heated because, you know, you're here as air, they're here as fire. And sometimes that is a very like combustible combination. So, um, yeah, I think it's better if you guys come as, um, you know, some water and some earth, you know, that's a better combination versus the queen. I mean, the, um, air and fire especially when it comes to like trying to iron out issues you know it's, it's better to be more grounded um, maybe not come from a very emotional standpoint when there is this type of energy going on here okay so let's see what you guys can actually do to help the situation along hmm Maybe some of you need to travel to um, the person that you are thinking about, your ex. Some of you need to be more um, like initiators here. Get that idea in your head. Know what it is you're going to do. And then I feel like go and make an offer or go and... Um, not have an energized conversation, but you know, in like you're interested though. An interested conversation where you are actually involved, and you know, none of this this hidden stuff need to be honest and open with things here. Some of you are actually needing to go to someone. Maybe you guys 
um, have moved away from your ex. Maybe you're not in the same vicinity even. Maybe it's not good for you to talk on the phone. It may be like better for you guys to meet in person. Okay. I feel like you need to come with a more um, active energy. Okay. For sure. Let's see with the other person how they can help this along. Stop being defensive. I feel because we see that here. Hmm. Stop being defensive knowing that you know yeah, things happened here. Um not so good things happened here, but Sometimes things can be worked out, especially if they're really not as bad as um, you may first, you know, think they are. Knowing that you can keep going further here. Um, taking responsibility even, I feel, for what their actions, I think, okay? A lot of fire here. I'm going to include Sagittarius now, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, does not have to be those signs, but that's the energy that's present here. And we also have um, air energy and water for sure and earth. Every Everybody's here, <laughs> okay? You guys just take the situation and, um, you know, take what resonates with you, okay? What is a potential outcome? Hmm. That says it all, okay? Very Gemini energy. I feel like you guys will open up. I feel like where you once were all closed off and, you know, not really opening up in a relationship, I think you're going to be wide open. I think there is a very good chance that you guys will come back together. And um, if you incorporate more action, more fire, more emotions, open up a little bit, um, this could be a very... Uh, charge connection between the two of you I feel and I feel like it's very likely I do all right so let's pull a romance angels card for you guys close out this reading make the effort we have two actually I didn't notice that hmm we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take strong message you guys it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I don't have to say anymore. Okay. That that speaks for itself. And um, my Scorpio friends. I will be speaking with you soon. Bye. And good luck.